Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about sharing your contacts with your Android phone to an iPhone. So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, why would you want to switch your contacts or share your contacts with your Android phone and your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you've destroyed your Android phone like I did, and now you're switching over to an iPhone. But how do you easily transfer your contacts from your Android to your iPhone? That's what we're going to talk about. So it's really a quick and easy process, guys. Not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Before we get started, I want to let you know you do need to be signed into your email account on both phones, and it's best if you're on Wi-Fi. You don't need to download any kind of apps or hook this up to the computer. It's all going to be sent right through email. And also, I'm going to show you how to transport all of your contacts over and also how to share contacts one by one. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and go to our contacts here on our Android device. And you just go there by the phone icon, this little green and white one. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you're here, then you're going to see all the different contacts that you have inside of your Android device. And if you'd like to share all your contacts with your iPhone from your Android device, you want to be sure you click on contacts right here on the bottom. So I've already done that. Next, you wanna click on these three little dots here on the top right. Once you click there, another drop down menu is gonna happen. I'm gonna click there now. All right, now you get these four different options. You wanna go ahead and click on share, which is the second option. I'm gonna click there now. All right, next this menu pops up, so you get two different options. You wanna choose the first one called vCard file. I've never actually shared the text version. I usually just use vCard, so I'm gonna click there now. All right next, this option pops up and you wanna go ahead and choose the email client. But as you can see, you can also send it via text message if you'd like. I've never actually done that. If you have, be sure to leave a comment below if you think it's an easier process, but I usually just use email. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my Gmail account now. All right next, the screen pops up so you can go ahead and type in your own email address unless you're gonna be sending it to someone new. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my email address now. Okay, I went ahead and typed in the email address that I'm going to be sending this to, which is myself. And I have the VCF file attached to the email. If everything looks good to you, go ahead and click send up here on the top right. It says blue arrow. I'm gonna click there now. All right guys, just a few seconds later, this contact screen pops back up. So the email has been sent. So we'll switch over to our iPhone that we're transferring our contacts from our Android device to, so here. And I already have my email open right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my email on my iPhone, and as you can see, the Android contacts are included as an attachment on this email. So let me click on the email now. Okay, I went ahead and opened up the email, and then as you can see, we can go ahead and tap to download the contacts from my Android device inside my iPhone, so I'm gonna do that now. All right now, the .vcf file has downloaded, so I'm gonna click on it now. Okay, next the screen pops up, and then you get to choose which contacts you would like to add in, or if you'd like to go ahead and add in all the contacts from your Android device into your iPhone, go ahead and choose the top line to add all. I'm gonna choose there now. Next, this pops up so you can create new contacts for each individual one, or you can add all contact. And basically what this means is this will create individual new contacts. This one will add it to a matching name inside of your iPhone if the name from your Android matches an iPhone name. So usually you're gonna go ahead and create new contacts if you're going to be transferring contacts from an old Android device to a new iPhone. So that's how you can share the entire contact list from your Android phone into your iPhone. And you can also share individual contacts from your Android into your iPhone. And it's basically the same process, except for once you get here to this list, instead of clicking on these three dots, you'll just click on the individual user. So let's go ahead and click on Sarah now. Okay, I went ahead and clicked on her name, and then next this pops up, you wanna click on this little I for information. I'm gonna click there now. All right, and once you click there, you get this drop down menu, and then you wanna check down here at the bottom. You can click on this share button. I'm gonna click there now. And then same thing, you'll just go ahead and share contact as a V card file. All right, once you've done that, then you can go ahead and follow the same process and go through your Gmail. So that's the easiest way I know how to share contacts from an Android device to an iPhone device. If you happen to know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. But hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.